Hello, I'm Melissa from Dapper Kitty Music. Let's talk about tundra mallets. So here we have a lot of <laughs> mallets, and not all of them very obviously come with a tongue drum. I have some drum mallets that I put on this table, some drum sticks actually as well, and some drum brushes just to help make some comparisons. I'll pick those up as we go along. But I do get questions sometimes about what mallets are best for tongue drums. Manufacturers of tongue drums will often include a set. So for the Minel Sonic Energy, these rubber drumsticks or mallets come with those large Sonic Energy drums that we have other videos on our channel. And I find that these drumsticks are really great. In fact, I went ahead and purchased an extra set of them, so I always have <laughs> this particular kind of mallet. It feels really good when you play tongue drums. Best not to play on using the edges of the handles, but rather a little bit closer in the middle. I have a little bit of drummer's experience, but you'll notice that sometimes when I play, I don't have a consistent technique. I play what you would say how it feels good, how it's comfortable in my hands, but sometimes you'll see me in my left hand where I'll have more of a continental grip if you're a drummer, if, if you understand this, or sometimes you'll just see me do an overhand grip or an American grip this way. It's just whatever's comfortable is what I would go with. And sometimes the sticks are too small, so you do have to adapt. And so, again, these are ones that come with the drums that really do sound good. So, you know, no need to be looking around for a more perfect set of drumsticks. Some of the smaller drums also come with drumsticks. So the Minel the Sonic Energy, the little drum. Tony, you can go ahead and hand me that. Um, has these little drumsticks. Very big difference here. Again, you know, some of this is sticking with the obvious, but this sounds really good and it has a hollow bottom to it, so that helps as far as the sound goes. You'll notice on this one, my hand kind of swallows up the end. It's really hard to play the middle part. So it's on the long long sticks that you kind of want to be in the middle. Here you want to have a little bit of flexibility so you can bounce and sometimes you might see I'll tap to get like some quick drum sounds. So the, this is a little bit more obvious of uh, so you know small drum needs small mallets. These are soft. These uh, feel rather ideal with this particular drum. I do have all these other mallets so of course I've played around with listening, does it sound good? For example, with this mallet, it's also got a rubber head to it, would stick. It gives me a little bit more length than uh, the others. It's also really pretty, kind of, I'm not sure um, you can see that, but it's got a really pretty little carved in to it, but kind of overkill. You can hear the strike a little bit too much, and I really like the focus on the note rather than the strike. So, you know, but I wanted to hear what it would sound like and I feel much more comfortable with the small ones. I notice with a lot of tongue drum mallets that are for sale, that are rubber ones, you that the rubber part is too hard. So you want something soft. You want it to always read either read the reviews or go and see what these are like in a music store, but you want a soft rubber mallet and so that's the other thing to look for especially with these steel ones because you can bend the tongues you can um, distort the uh, tuning if you have um, a mallet that has a too hard head on it so obviously <laughs> no drumsticks on these okay do not use drumsticks on these likewise some of the instruments this sonic energy doesn't have the same finish as our inmaker, but look at the inmaker here. This inmaker is an enamel steel titanium alloy drum, and you know, you play a drumstick on this, you can say goodbye <laughs> to the finish. It, it does chip. And so, this one, the drumsticks that came with the inmaker sound really nice as well. This one where, like I said, the pretty carved one, not so much, it's a little bit duller sounding. 
Sometimes when I play the Rav Vast, which is a very large drum, I use these soft yarn mallets and these wonderful soft yarn mallets, Mr. Power <laughs> marimba mallets is what these are. Easily available at Amazon, I think are the best sounding if you want a mallet for a large tongue drum, such as a Rav Vast tongue drum or possibly even the Meinel Sonic Energy drums or hand pans because, and remember with hand pans, those are a lot more delicate than these steel tongue drums. The keys can bend and like I said, you can distort the tuning. I like the yarn one better than the timpani one, but a lot of players will recommend these timpani ones. Maybe if you have super fuzzy, super overly used, like get some from a timpani player that <laughs> might have said, I'm giving up on these. But I really don't like this sound nearly as much as with the yarn ones. And so um, um, I, would, I, would, I would pass on this. Timber is a company that also makes these really great mallets. They sound pretty good on medium-sized tongue drums, like the Inmaker one, the blue drum that I just showed, but these are really meant for wood tongue drums. And so this is our one wood tongue drum. And so here you can hear a little of it. Nice and long stick, you want to have your hand in the middle and very relaxed as you play. And maybe on a large tongue drum, I might give this a test. This is a really nice soft rubber mallet as well, so it would sound pretty good. So some other possible mallets to look at are brushes. So again, this is going with the obvious. This is a this is a metal brush, so not so good <laughs> on your instrument. So save that for different percussion. However, Promark makes these really great little brushes. There's some blue ones that are good. I really like these. They're nylon. They won't scratch your instrument. They sound good on some of the instruments. I would use these on the larger tongue drums, your Meinel Sonic Energy large sized ones. That inmaker that I showed probably it's a sound but I don't think it's a great sound. <laughs> okay. Um, these also are great to play if you're looking for uh, playing an instrument that accompanies the tongue drum nicely like the cajon. These have a great sound on a cajon as well because they kind of have a slapping sound. There's some broomstick style brushes that you can use on cajon that are a little bit more heavy duty that I would not even bother with using on a tongue drum. But if you want something that sounds nice, we've played some of the uh, larger tongue drums using these brushes just kind of stirring on the surface, much like these are meant for with a snare drum. You can use these, but nylon only folks, okay? so. When you get your tongue drum and you do your first big unboxing, some of them will come with uh, really cool little sets. This is a little box of a mallet and, well, you know, um, basically a stand from Aklot, one of the tongue drums that we have. It has inside it, for example, these little finger mallets, or these, they're like basically the rubber heads of the mallets that you can put on your hand to play. I don't feel like I get a louder sound, but I will go ahead and show you. So if I put a couple of these on and play that again, it'll sound a little bit louder. I don't think it's very distinct though. You notice I have to kind of build an attack a little bit more, I'll pull away also, so hit harder and pull away to get some nice sounds. It's not my favorite play, way of playing, but they're often put in a box when you, when you first get your uh, tongue drums. Be really careful when you see your mallets come this way, when you put the mallet on, because I have had one arrive where it had a split in the stick itself, so if you put it on, you twist it, you could break the drumstick. This one I actually can feel where I super glued it and I keep it off and I keep it this way so it reminds me if I use this one be careful. Put the mallet head on the other side of the split 
<laughs> so I don't break the stick. So uh, just beware of that when you do get these for the first time and if you get them where they're separate like this. There are also, coincidentally, this is off topic, but I'll just show you really quick. There's some numbers that came in with this. So you can actually label your tongue drum if you want. So that is my not so brief spiel on various mallets. Have fun, explore. One of the great aspects of collecting so many tongue drums is that you can try the smaller sticks on the larger instruments and see what kinds of sounds you get. If you're not particularly liking a sound, you can go onto Amazon or you can go, on, go into a music store and you can explore the way some of these sticks sound on different instruments or you know take them home and see it because they're not terribly expensive. And that's all I have to say. Thank you for watching and for listening. And I'm excited about mallets. So I hope you're excited about mallets too.